Hey guys, Merry Christmas. I'm having to sit in the garage because it's really windy out. It's supposed to be like 80 degrees today. <laughs> like, welcome to Texas. Anyway, um, be nice to get a little colder weather for the for the Christmas holiday, but that's all right. It just, it is what it is. I just wanted to wish you all Merry Christmas. And um, it's been, it's been a really crazy year. It isn't over yet. We got one more week. God only knows what could happen, right? I wouldn't be surprised by anything. Um, kind of waiting for something big to happen, but maybe it won't. Everybody's been predicting, you know, the stock market's going to crash or something big's going to happen. There's going to be, you know, the military's going to step in and right this situation. Or, But, you know, I've kind of just let it go. I've just basically just decided I'm going to focus on what I can control, which is very little. And, um, just focus on doing my spiritual path and focus on getting healthy. And um, uh, I bench press the most I've ever bench pressed this year. I'm 53, I'll be 54 next month. And um, getting stronger than I've ever been. So just focusing on the positive. I'm gonna continue on into the new year with um, to keep doing my practice, the spiritual practice I do, the heartfulness practice. And um, it's been very, very, very beneficial. And I'm gonna keep doing my workouts. I'm gonna keep going to work and doing my job. And um, keep it simple, you know, just keep it really simple. All the other stuff I can't control. And I do have, tr I do have faith in God and um, I, uh, a higher power that things are being, I believe things are being attenuated. I think things are much less damaging than they maybe would have been or could have been or if, if we wouldn't have. I think we've, I think people have woken up a lot and, um, and I'm just gonna speak from my own personal experience. I have, I have grown so much this year and it's been the hardest year of my life. So, you know, you just gotta take that and be grateful. You know, it, it's 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 a it's a great thing to have that kind of realizations and growth in, in the midst of all this difficulty. And sometimes it's the difficulty that brings that out. And I think that's kind of where we're at right now. Is people people went into a deep slumber, and uh, they've been hypnotized into a deep level of um, sleep, and this is the we're in the dehypnotization phase um, by the very uh, systems that put them to sleep those systems are being controlled now by the good guys and they're going to use those systems to wake people up and um, I said that a long time ago and other people have said it also that I think I think they're right on it vibes with it, it it feels good to me that it just really vibes with me that that's what is happening. And in spite of all the other, in spite of all the negativity, because there's a lot of people who just think, you know, sky's falling and horrible things happening. And but I just, I just never felt that way. And uh, I've always just got this vibe that things are really gonna work out really well and to our benefit. Uh, we just have to go through this, this, you know, this, difficulties go through the difficulties um it's uh in sahaj Marg, they talk about something called boga and boga is like the the remnants of you could call it karma um it's the remnants of basically the false structure the, the false system the false structure it's the remnants of it it'd be like if um you know, you had to demolish a building and the cleanup, the building's gone, but it's still like needs cleaned up. So the structure itself is knocked down, but you're in the process of cleaning up that. Uh, that's that's kind of what boga is, but, but it's on a personal level. So your, your individual um, karma is complete, but there's residual. And that, uh, it's like when a building falls and collapses and you see all the dust rise up in the air. It's kind of like that. 
I'm not explaining it perfect, but that's my understanding. And I had an experience of this at work where I felt like um, the bogue had just lifted. Like I, I, I could see that I was kind of in the center of all of this stuff that was flying around, but the stuff that was flying around was just uh, the residual of something that had been there, something that had been broken up and, and is being dissipated, if that makes any sense. Um, and I think that's what we're going through on a collective level. So all these structures, all these power systems, these control, these control systems have all been, um, they've been taken out, they've been removed. And we're seeing the, we're seeing, we're gonna see a, a collapse of them, but some people may not even see the collapse. It may not even, it, it may be we've averted you know, the really bad destruction that, that could have happened. I'm hoping that's the case, but um, anyway, uh, you guys just take care. Um, it looks like this uh, new variant isn't as bad as what they're trying to pump it up to be. I, at, I'll keep you updated at the hospital. Um, so far, I mean, we have like very few COVID cases. I had a couple of patients that um, came in for a few days to get a little supplemental um, oxygen and get antibiotics for secondary infections, and then they're going. They went home, so it, nothing like the what they call the Delta variant. I mean, it was that was bad. Um, um, the September October freaking nightmare. So. Um, I'm hoping this isn't as bad, but I'll keep you updated as um, we'll see what happens and um, hope for the best because I really don't want to work as hard as I did last year or this year, next year. So, all right, y'all take care.